Well, good morning to all. This is Big Mike coming to you with a 123 card order from PSA. Uh, and I want to uh, thank everyone for uh, tuning in and, and watching this video here. I will start to give you some uh, numbers and breakdowns as soon as I pay my respect to the Big Diesel. Shaq Diesel! <laughs> Diesel in the house, Diesel coming through, Shaq Diesel! <laughs> anyway, Shaquille O'Neal, one of the most dominant uh, centers in, uh, in the league during his era, and I always pay respect uh, to him because a lot of his cards are uh, undervalued. Hopefully in the near future here, they will become value valuable in time, and I also want to thank my cousin Aaron and Troy down in New Orleans for blessing me with some of the Zulu memorabilia that uh, they collected from the, the Mardi Cude down in New Orleans um, at the Mardi Gras uh, 2024. Some really nice uh, bees from like members only stuff and members only coconuts, you know, stuff that's really rare. So I want to thank them uh, for that and pay respect to my two cousins. That's my cousins down in the NOLA, in the NOLA. And so there you go. So moving on, I wanted to give you the breakdown on the percentages of the uh, order. So what I received back from PSA on 123 cards was 33 PSA 10s, which is a 26% uh, average of the order. Also, I received 50 PSA 9s, which is a 41% uh, of the order, 28 PSA 8s, which is 23% of the order, and I actually received, um, I want to say, 13 PSA 7s and below, but I'm only going to uh, actually show about 4 or 5 of the 7s there, and that was 13% of the order, which was, to me, a uh, really, uh, really, you know, a small percentage of what, what came back in, in sevens. Everything was pretty much eights and above. And so I'm pretty happy with the order. It was one uh, catastrophe, <laughs> I guess you could call it, within the order. And I'll, uh, I'll get to that in a minute as soon as I give you the, the figures on if I was to liquidate right now on, uh, you know, the different platforms that are out there to sell cards at, you know, uh, different places that you can go to. eBay is what I normally use, so I usually base it on a deduction of 12% for eBay fees, and that's about average for everyone if you if you try, uh, you know, selling your and liquidating your, your cards. So here here's what we have on the order. If I was to sell all 123 cards right now, I would have in pocket thirteen thousand uh one hundred and ten dollars uh you know not too uh not too shabby uh i'll give you what my cost was plus the grading fees of course ebay charges 13 i mean 15 dollars so uh based on 15 dollars per card and what i paid for the 123 cards amounted to $3,969, almost $4,000 I'm into it for. eBay fees would be $1,573. So that would leave me with a total profit that I can uh, say is a definite profit and because I used, a, I used the bare minimum on uh, my predictions. I didn't go with the high end. I went with the lower end on, on sale value. I would have a profit of $7,568. Uh, is it worth it? No, I'm not really worrying too much about profit because like I said, I just enjoy purchasing the raw cards and then setting them off to see what kind of grade they're going to get. And then, of course, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. I'm not sure if I made a mistake on this one, but like I said, I usually scrutinize my cards really, really well. So what I wanted to do is kind of show you how you can, you're definitely going to have a few catastrophes, and this was the worst card of the order. It's a, a VG3. Now, I always look at my cards really, really good, and this is the, the worst one of the order, but you have to, you know, show people that everything's not all peaches and creams. You're going to have some cards that come back and you say, what the heck happened here? Uh, the unfortunate part is uh, you you can't really tell at PSA because 
you don't have subgrades. That's the, the benefit of grading at uh, uh, Beckett. But this one had an obvious uh, issue when I, as soon as I flipped it over, I was like, whoa, look at this crease going down the entire card. Now, you know I would have seen that because all you got to do is just look at it. Look at that, look at that crease right there. And you can see it right here. I mean, it's a giant crease. That wasn't there. Because, I mean, I could just flip it over and look at I would look at this one time in the light, and I would say, oh, can't send that in. It's got a big crease going, going on. Because I look for creases. You look for imperfections. You look for creases, dents, bent corners, turned up corners, turned up edges. And this wasn't there. But, you know, I, I can't go back to them and say they, they actually did it. You know, unless my eyes were really off that day. So this card was actually a numbered card, 265 or 75. So I'm going to end up losing the whole amount of what I spent on the card. And I think this card, I ended up spending, I think I spent about $45 for that card. So that's a loss. But I mean, that doesn't have anything to do with the uh, total profit. And I also, too, wanted to just kind of mention something here. I'm working on this set right here, just as a, a, a hobby to, to something to do. And it's the, um, I'm, I'm working on it in a, in a Beckett 9. It's the 1992 Stadium Club Beam Team uh, cards. And so far I have the, the Dominique. I have the um, Chris Mullen. I have the... Scotty Pippen in the in the uh, Beckett nine. I have the uh, Jeff Harnesack. It's a twenty one uh, card uh, set, and I have the Hakeem Olajuwon. And I also have them stored away. I have the Jordan and the Shaq. So I just have to work on the rest of, of the um, uh, the the set. And so I'm working on that set just as a hobby. So my my point was. I can easily probably go to a card show somewhere and someone would have the entire set and I could purchase it, but that would be the defeating the whole purpose of just having fun with the hobby. I'm going to take it like one card at a time and say, okay, I'm going to go find the Charles Barkley now. And then I'm going to go find the Sean Kemp. Both of them are in this uh, set. So I'm just using that as an example that, yeah, anyone, if you have the right amount of money, you can go to a car show and just purchase the entire set. But what kind of fun is that? I get more satisfaction out of taking each individual player and say, hey, I want to go and see if I can bid for it in an, in an auction and let's see if I can win. Because you can always get these. These are not super rare, so you can find them. You might have to pay a little premium for some of the marquee players. Uh, but like I said, that's all part of the, the hobby. You should have fun in what you're doing, not just do it for the whole uh, purpose of uh, profit. Don't just worry about that. Try to have some fun in the hobby. And that's what I'm doing with this set. I'm going to enjoy collecting all 21 of these and just have some fun doing it. Now, it's not fun for everyone. But I said, if you're into this kind of thing and you grew up collecting cards, you're going to have some fun uh, you know, tracking down the players and just having some fun. So you can see I got a long way to go because I got these five plus the Shaq and the, uh, the Jordan, that's seven, but those are the two most expensive. So the other ones won't be that bad. We're looking at maybe about 60 to to $100 per player. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to move on and get into the, um, the cards as we go here. So I'm going to start off with one that's uh, a pop two with 12 higher. And even though it's in a, a PSA seven condition, by this card being so rare, there is still a value and profit in this card. It's a 1997 SPX Shaquille O'Neal Gold. And believe me, these are very, very rare. You can see his holographic image in, in the card. I'm using this little spot right here because it's really a nice little spot. Uh, to uh, kind of showcase the cards and, and show you the beauty of the card. And uh, even though this card is in that condition, I think it's in a seven because a, a, a eight, nine, or 10 is extremely high. And like I said, try getting the goals like this, it's high. In this, in this condition, it, it may get $150 and that's uh, nowhere near what I paid for it. So it would be definite a, a profit, even though it's a, a, a near mint... Uh, a seven card so so there you go so i'm just kind of using that uh as an example uh to kind of show you guys that some cards 
uh, if they're not modern, definitely have a, um, a, a value factor. Here's, here's another one in the, in the same uh, uh, situation. It's a 1997 Topps Chrome Shaquille O'Neal refractor. And even though it's in a seven, it's gonna, uh, I, it's worth about $80. I think I paid, um, I paid $30 for the card. So there you go. And like I said, so I'm just kind of showing you that you can make money off some cards uh, even though they're a lower grade within the PSA uh, grading spectrum. <clears throat> Here's another example. Here's the um, 1995 uh, SP Championship Shaquille O'Neal Championship Shots. But this is not just a regular, regular one like this. There's a regular one you look at, and this is the gold version. So the gold version is super rare. This one's a pop three and a seven, and 18 higher so there's only 18 higher wouldn't make a lot off of that one but it still would be a profit now here's one that would end up losing 15 dollars <laughs> because i didn't expect it to the, the card is beautiful i might i might consider cracking it and resending it back in 92 upper deck shaquille o'neal mvp holograms so that's the worst of the order. And like I said, you got to show people that not every card is going to gem and you, you're going to end up pushing or breaking even on a card. And in some cases, you're going to end up losing. But then again, some of the ones that do well are going to uh, compensate for the loss on those type of cards. So now I'm going to move into the uh, eights, which I don't have too many eights to actually show you. And here's a, here's a perfect example of one that would end up being a a push considering what I paid for it, but it's a beautiful card. And if I hold on to it and Chris Olave has a great career, great looking card. Look at the, the signature on that, that right there. It's a nice looking Chris Olave card. And uh, it's the wave. It's a 2022 Prism Chris Olave autograph red wave card. Beautiful card. The contrast on it is, is really, really, really nice. Move that one over here. Okay, here's one that would actually uh, give me a nice profit too. And I just picked up on it. I think I paid I paid twenty five dollars for the card. It's a pop twelve with seventy three higher, and it's I uh, paid twenty five. It's worth about eighty bucks in in this condition. And it's a two thousand and two tops chrome Tim Duncan refractor in a near mint mint eight. So all of these are my eights. But even though it's uh, um, in an eight condition, you know, Tim Duncan cards are gonna start going up. The, I think they called him the big fundamental. Now I never really did like that name, you know, and a lot of people said maybe if he would have kept his his uh, his uh, dreads and stuff, because I think now he's growing out his dreads, he would have been a lot cooler in the NBA. I don't know. I think he just wanted to play the game, make his money and do his thing and, and, and you know, and get out. He just, Never gotten too many confront confrontations, but he wasn't a, a highly sought after person in the card world. Here's another uh, great uh, card of, of Timmy in the silver. It's a SPX Tim Duncan silver card. And this card here too would also, you know, have a little profit on it. Those are just a few I had through in there. And here, here's another one that would definitely have some profit. It's probably worth about $250 in its condition. I think I'm into it for $40 with the fees. It's a pop 17, 16 higher. And what we have here is the 1996 Skybox Premium Shaquille O'Neal Rubies card. And even though it's in a near mint mint eight condition, the, um, the card, um, you know, would do really well, you know, and like I said, I, I, I don't travel around to the card shows. I was looking at some people who do a lot of uh, traveling and stuff. And if you into it to make money and, and that's your business, that's your own thing. That's your prerogative. I, I commend you. I just don't have the time to do it or the patience to just travel all around the country going to card shows. And in order to make money, you got to constantly do that. You can't stop. Uh, because you you have to keep you know cards out in in the whatever platform you're selling them on you know you have to keep cards out there uh, and so you know you know that's just something you got to look at you know I was looking at some of the other um, youtubers that have uh, uh, you know um, a lot of uh, YouTube uh, posts and stuff like that 
and they, they seem to be doing well. There's a couple of guys that are in the state of Louisiana up, in Louisiana, up in Baton Rouge, and they seem to be doing really well. I won't mention names because I don't want people to get mad at me, but there's a guy up there who sells a lot, uh, who collects a lot of Jordan and Shaq, and so we got a lot in common in, in that respect. Um, so, you know, um, I was just kind of uh, just, you know, letting people know that, you know, there are people all around the, the country that, that actually do this and, 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 and a lot more than, than what you think. And even up there in Catfish City, that's what they call Baton Rouge is Catfish City. And I know they had some of, they known for having some of the best catfish. I went to a, a few years back, I went up there and, and went to this restaurant and had all you can eat catfish. Oh man, I'm telling you, you can overindulge in, in the state of Louisiana. There's just as much good food in Baton Rouge as there is in New Orleans. New Orleans might edge it out a little bit just because of, you know, the, the history and, and probably the, the abundance of restaurants, but uh, different cities all throughout uh, Natchitoches and all these other places, Lafayette and and uh, Shreveport and all these places have great restaurants and great food. You know, stop stop through any of those cities and enjoy some of the Louisiana culture and, and cuisine. And I would say that you would love it. Creole Cajun soul food. That's the, the main uh, uh, subjects. Now, here's a 94... Uh, a stadium club Shaquille O'Neal first day issue. It's got a little stamp on the card right here, and that's how you could tell it's the uh, first day issue. See, I'm, I'm putting right there under the light where the little stamp is right here. That's the first day issue stamp. So those always, uh, uh, you know, want you always can get a higher premium for the first day issue card. Now here's a tough, tough card. I would make ten dollars on it right now if I sell it. It's a pop uh, 70 with 31 higher. And you talking about a card that was so hard to get in a, in, in a, in a nine. And I tried, I sent several of them in, all I got was eights. Uh, it's a 93 Skybox Premium Shaquille O'Neal, Anthony Hardaway, Shaquille O'Neal Thunder and Lightning card. And just because it's a foil card, man, the, the front and the back, I mean, gets eat up around these uh, corners, you, you definitely, if you got a 10 in this, you're doing really great, or even a nine, but even an eight wouldn't be too bad. So, and I would always tell people, collect some eights. Everybody can't afford a 10, dude. Go out and just start collecting, you know, eights. Start an eight collection, you know, and just have some fun with the hobby. Look at Shaq tearing on that damn rim right there. The big diesel. Anyway, uh, moving on, I'm going to go to the next card. Now, here's a card here, too, that's worth about $75, even though it's in an eight. And I only paid, I'm into it for maybe 35 It's a pop 15 with 29 higher. And the reason being because of this first day issue stamp right there. And so this is a 93 Stadium Club Shaquille O'Neal first day issue. If it was the standard card, it wouldn't even be worth grading for an eight. But by it being a first day issue card, it pumps it up, man. I don't know the insertion rates you can get with someone who really follows that, but it was, it was extremely hard to get a first day issue card in that set. Now here's a card, here's a pop one with 16 higher, probably worth about $200. I'm into it for 45, so there you go. That's not a bad uh, profit. 2002 Topps Chrome, Shaquille O'Neal, Near Mint Mint, The Moves Refract. And now this is a refract. This is a beautiful refract. I actually just love this refractor card. It's just a great looking uh, card of the, the diesel there. And, you know, even though it's in a Near Mint Mint 8 condition, you know, it's still, uh, you know, it's still valuable. Here's another example. Now, there's a lot of these that's been graded. It's a pop 141 is 113 higher and um, probably uh, I think I'm into it for 40 it's probably worth about 75 bones and it's the uh, 1993 Upper Deck Sha uh, SE Shaquille O'Neal Die Cuts All Stars East card so there was an East and West uh, set of this right here and this is the uh, the East card everybody's uh, seeing this uh, card it's a beautiful card get you one in an 8 Everybody can't afford a nine or a ten. I always tell people start collecting and start if you if you can't even afford that, start doing sevens. But I would say shoot for eights. You know, eights is a nice little, uh, nice neutral medium to start. You know, collecting on. 
Here's a great card, 1997 SPX Shaquille O'Neal Hardcourt Hollow View in a uh, near mint mint a very hard to get these try getting some of the hard court hollow views so even in an eight it's a nice little card and it doesn't look bad I, a lot of these cards you know maybe under grade this is a pop three with 11 higher you know i'd make about a, 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 a be worried about a hundred dollars if i sold it even in an eight right here you know nice little card uh, to have in your collection if you if you enjoy collecting shaquille o'neal Here's a pop 23 with 27 higher, and it would also get me a little profit even in a in an eight condition. This is a 1999 Skybox EX Shaquille O'Neal E Exceptional Red, the red card. There were different versions. The only one I think I have in this is is the the red one right here. But it's a cool looking little card, man. It's got like this little finish on it that you really need to see it in in person. Uh, here's a card here too that would wouldn't get but maybe ten dollars if I sold it, but considering what I paid for it and what I'm into it for. But it's a really nice card. Now you're talking about a card that's extremely uh, sensitive with this foil. Try getting one in a nine or a ten. I don't even think there's hardly any tens out there. It might be four or five tens in the world. Most of them are in eights and nines. Ninety-four Ultra Shaquille O'Neal Scoring Kings. Because I mean this border. It's almost, it, they get chipped and so badly, it's, it's ridiculous. But it's a really nice looking card uh, of, uh, of the diesel. Beautiful, it's, that's one of, one of the most beautiful cars. <clears throat> Here's a card that would, uh, I think I'm into it for 35, it'd probably sell for 80. It's a pop 33 with 26 higher. And it's a really nice uh, metal, Planet Metal card. 1998 Metal Universe Shaquille O'Neal Planet Metal. Really nice little card here. You can see it right here. Hopefully it'll focus right there. Great looking card. And that's it for the uh, eights. Now we'll roll on into the uh, nine stack. Okay, so I'll start with these. And we've got two stacks of nine and then my two stacks of tens, which I think is what the, however many, 33 tens. And so here we go. Here's a card that's a pop 10 uh, with, there are no tens out there. There's only uh, t uh, 10 of these uh, in a nine condition. It says no tens at PSA. So this one would be worth some, some really nice money. It, it, from, from what I understand, it sells really, really well. And it's a very rare card in a nine or a 10 because of this gold chipping border. That card gets eat up and then just being black all around the card. Try getting it in a nine or a 10. It's a 1993 UD Locker Talk Shaquille O'Neal. Great card right here if you can get it, man. I'm telling you, try getting it in a, if you can't get it in a nine or a 10, get it in a in an, in an eight. I always tell people, you, you know, you don't have to spend a, a lot of money and, and break the bank on having some fun. You, you do it for, for the love of, of collecting the cards and you just enjoy it. Don't worry about a profit or what it's worth and just collect some eights and have some fun with the, with the card hobby. Here's a pop one with 23 higher, and this card here is in a, and all of these nines are gonna uh, have a little value on them. It's the uh, 1996 Fleer Total O Shaquille O'Neal. Nice looking little card, one of those little acetate cards right here. And so there you go. Here is a, uh, this one's a pop 35 with 19 higher. And everyone's seen this one. I, I don't have the refractor in this one. I think I'm gonna try and maybe get an eight or a nine in, in a refractor because they're not too expensive. They're not out of the ballpark, uh, uh, priced out of the ballpark yet. 94 finest Shaquille O'Neal. This is the number 280. There were two in that set. I don't have this one in a refractor, but I have the other one in a refractor. Uh, here's a Pop 52 16 higher. This is one of the classic four sports cards. It's a 93 classic four sports Shaquille O'Neal limited print card. Nice little card. Here's a card that's very rare, and I really don't even remember where I got it from. It's a pop two only with one higher. There's 110 out there. I'm into it for about 25, and I think I saw one selling for 300. That's, that's what they were asking. I don't know if they would get that. They might only get 200 for it. 
but it's a 2000 FLIR uh, authority of Shaquille O'Neal with authority, and it's numbered 594 of 999. Cool looking little card, see it? So that's what it looks like. Very rare, if anybody could tell me, leave me a note, tell me something about that card. Now here's a card that's a pop five with only two hires. Five of these in existence with only two tens out there. Somebody told me this, This they, I saw some selling and one had sold for about a thousand dollars. I'm into it for like 25 bucks. So, and, and the reason it being so um, rare is because it's the Pulsar card. Not too many people have the Pulsar. There's a regular version and then there's a Pulsar and it's actually a labeled Pulsar on the back. It's a 1998 Fleer Brilliant Shaquille O'Neal Shining Stars Pulsars in a mint condition nine. Great looking card here. Nice little uh, finish on the uh, card. Really nice looking little card right there of, uh, of, the, of the diesel. Nice shine on the card. It's got these little stars and this, this coating that makes it really pop. So that's a great little card. And here's another one that's a pop. 13 with only one hire and it, it, it it's the die cut version it was a regular version and it was a die cut the die cuts are a lot more scarce than the regular card it's a 94 sp championship shaquille o'neal die cuts card and so there you go like i said die cuts are hard now here's a card this was pretty popular it's a pop uh, it's a pop 43 with only three tens out there in existence, maybe because a whole lot of people didn't send them in to PSA. But I see these all the time, you know, and then it's probably not worth sending in. I don't even know why I sent it in. I just threw it in there probably for whatever. Uh, but anyway, for S&G. Uh, a 1994 Flair Hot Number Shaquille O'Neal. Nice looking little card, though. It's a cool card. And here's, now here's one that's really rare in this condition. It's a Pop 13 with only eight hire. And it's super, super rare. Probably worth about 900 to $1,000 because it's the Ruby in a nine. They don't, there aren't many out here. Like I said, Pop 13, only eight tens in existence in the world. And a lot of this product has been uh, uh, opened up. It, and, and the rubies, look at the insertion rate on rubies on this set, you'll see. 1996 Skybox Premium Shaquille O'Neal Rubies card. Really cool looking card. You know, you have to enjoy the hobby if that's something you do. If it's not your thing, then you're not going to enjoy it. But, you know, there are a lot of people who collect and just have fun when some people don't know they enjoy it until they get into it. So I would say give it a shot and see what you think about card collecting. You know, it don't have to be basketball or football. Uh, it could be hockey or baseball. You know, even some people do like movie stars and stuff like that. Uh, boxers, you know, just just find out what you, what, what you like. Uh, I think there's NASCAR and all kind of stuff. So just enjoy it. 1994 Fleer Shaquille O'Neal Tower of Power. And, you know, it gives you something to do. You know, um, it's a good little hobby. Nice little card here in a nine condition. The Tower of Power Shack. Cool looking card there. Here's another acetate card. It's a pop 26 with 11 higher. And so what we have here is a 1996 Skybox EX Century Shaquille O'Neal. Cool looking little card right there. Of the diesel. And uh, here is a card here that would, I probably would double my my investment value and I'm just saying that I don't I haven't even sold any cards in a long time I'm just holding on to them and then one day yeah, who I might kick the bucket let my, my kids and grandkids sell them and, and have some fun with it or keep some make some money or do whatever who knows before I kick the bucket I might liquidate everything and then just put some money into the account and just say hey you guys enjoy the rest of your, your lives uh, 1997 Topps Generation Shaquille O'Neal. This one's a Pop 29 with 11 higher. And there, there's this one in a refractor too. This is the non-refractor version, but I do have it in the uh, refractor. It's always a, a darker card, so it hasn't been one of my favorites. It looks a lot better in the, um, in the uh, refractor finish than it does just in the plain standard card. That's a cool little card. 
here is a, a night now here's a nice card here probably worried about two hundred dollars i'm into it for 45 so pop 10 with only three higher and it's a, a the refractor it's a 1999 finest shaquille o'neal refractor card and look at that look how that refractor finish and shine is on that card look at it look at the colors on that that thing is so nice i'm just showing it to you you know inside the little light thing so you can kind of see it too great looking little card right here Card. Like I said, that card is worth about $200 in a nine. And here's a card here. Uh, I'm going to hold on to this one. They're rare. So pop 11 with three higher. There aren't a whole lot of them out there. Try getting one in a nine or a 10, though. It's hard. I don't know why. They just don't grade really well. Uh, but it's the um, 1996 SP Hollowview Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, card right here and you can see I, I'm trying to just focus in on the holographic image too and a cool little card of Shaq in a, in a nine condition nice card to have for your collection and here we go with a uh, pop 55 16 hires in a refractor the refractors are always a lot harder to get uh you know, they kind of like uh, subsets to the regular card. There's a regular card and then there's a refractor in this. 2002 Topps Chrome Shaquille O'Neal Refractor in a Mint 9. Really nice looking little card. Look how, look how it kind of glows and shines in that uh, refractor finish. It's just a nice little card to have. Very rare in the refractors. And like I said, it's about a $170 card in that condition. I'm into it for 35 and it's a pop 55 in that condition all right let me get to the second half of the nine cards i'm gonna do that right now let me grab them okay i got them in hand bear with me people here's a pop 27 with four higher uh, about an eighty-dollar card in this condition because they're so rare and so hard. These cards were very hard to grade too. This is a hard grade. When I tell you it's a hard grade, believe me. Uh, try grading some uh, like this or even buying any. I would love to have it in a ten, but let me see what it is—a pop twenty-seven with only four tens <laughs> in the world. So good luck on that, right? Uh, but it's the 94 Shaquille O'Neal Stadium Club Beam Team card, number 19, uh, from that uh, 94 set, you know. And then, like I said, try try getting the card in a um, in a 10. There's only four in existence, so send some in. You're going to get a, a 7, 8, or a 9, believe me. And if you get a 9, you're really lucky. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. If you get the 9, you're really lucky. And then here's one that's cool. I have to actually have the 10 in this. This is a pop three with one higher. There's only one of these graded in a 10 condition and I actually have it. You'll see it when I go to the 10 stack. But there's only three of these in a nine. It's probably worth 200 in a nine. I'm into it for 35 bucks. Really nice looking uh, card right here. It's the 94 finest cornerstone Shaquille O'Neal. It's appreciated much more in uh, in person. You just really can't see how nice it looks in the in in off of the camera. But you can maybe I can get a little better glow on how the colors and stuff pop right in here. But it's the cornerstone card, and it's really a nice card. And if you can get it in a PSA nine, that would be great, you know, because a lot of them don't grade well. Like I said, there's only three in a in a nine and one ten in existence that's the cornerstone not a whole lot of people have them here's a pop 24 with 21 higher and this is a um 1998 bowman's best shaquille o'neal card just a base card nothing spectacular about it Here's another one that's just a, a base card, and I wouldn't even send this one in. I would recommend it, not even sending it in unless you thought it was going to gem men. Otherwise, you're going to either uh, lose money on it or end up uh, pushing and breaking even. I, I don't even know why I sent it in. You'd really need a 10 on this one to 
make a profit. It's the 94 Ultra Shaquille O'Neal Rebound Kings. I won't spend a whole lot of time on that one, but unless you think you got a 10, I wouldn't bother sending that one in. All right, here's a nine. A nice little card in a nine. You double your money off of this. This is a Pop 144 with 51 higher, though. And it's the uh, the famous nicknames card, 93 Ultra Shaquille O'Neal nicknames. Of course, this one says Shaq on it right here by my thumb. You can see S-H-A-K. Cool-looking little card, though, you know. Cool-looking little Shaq card good one to have you know like i said if you collect shack cars you know just you know collect what you can have some fun pop 24 12 higher on this card right here it's the silver version they have it in a refractor i have it a refractor somewhere uh in an, in another color it's stashed away somewhere else but this is the 96 finest shaquille o'neal silver i don't know why they didn't put silver on it you know psa always they don't always label things correctly Pop 14 and 19 higher. Yeah, I said it. Uh, this one's worth about $100. I'm into it for like 20 bucks. And uh, because of the fact that it's that uh, uh, fifth anniversary one. So what we have here is the 93 Hoops blocking leaders. It's got Alonjoa O'Neal in the middle with the, with the seal on it, the uh, fifth anniversary seal. And then Matumbo, not in my house, not in my house, Matumbo. Uh, you know, I just have some fun with it, so a little dry humor for you, but enjoy. That's a, a, another one right there. Fifth anniversary, like I said, those were really rare to get those. I don't know what the insertion rate was on the fifth anniversary, but to get, you know, one for like one of the marquee players, that was something else. Here's a very hard card for grading. Pop 113 with 15 tens in existence in the world. Because of this black border, it was uh, almost an, it's almost impossible to get a 10 on this card. But it's a beautiful Shaquille O'Neal card. I love this um, platinum kind of uh, lettering on it. It's just really a cool looking card. It's the 93 Shaquille O'Neal Premium Center Stage card. Let me see it right there. Nice center stage card. And what I like about it is, like I said, that uh, little platinum lettering on it. Here's a card that's a Pop 14 with nine higher. Pretty common card. Anyone could grab one of these in this condition right here. It'll probably run you about uh, $55. You probably can maybe make an offer for $45 and get it or something. Just to add it to your collection. Uh, 1996 Topps Chrome Shaquille O'Neal Seasons Best Card. Here is a... Now, here's one that's relatively rare. And this one is a pop four. I don't know what the insertion rates were for these sky cars, but it, it must have been uh, very low. And I, I'm only into this one for 25. I had asked someone about it. And he told me, man, due to the fact that it's only a pop four and there's only one 10 in existence, it might be worth 300 to 500 dollars. Now I don't know if that's true. If it is, I would love it. But I put it way at the low end. I think I valued it at about 200 when I did my uh my little you know profit report but anyway 1997 spx shaquille o'neal the sky card so it's a sky blue light uh color just showing it to you out here but i think you can see the, the hollow view image a little bit better right here that's why i've been keeping it in this nice little sweet spot up in this corner and then it doesn't have as much of the glare right there and so there you go now here is a, a, a checklist card that's uh, Pop 6 with 19 10s out there. And it's just a little card. I think I got it from a, 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 a mail-in or something or something like that. There's little spacers on there to, to choose, you know, to mark off all your cards on a checklist for the USA team. Uh, but anyway, it's the um, 1993 Ultra Team Checklist, the USA card. And it's got the, the whole entire... Uh, dream team on there from 93. Boy, that was a heck of a team right there, I'll tell you. Those guys did really well. Here is a, uh, Sean Kemp was on that team too. I'm about 95% sure. I think he's on the, on the front. Top 32 with 10 higher. Here's a nice looking little card right here. 
uh, I think I'm into it for 35. It's probably about an $80 card in a in a nine. Uh, what, it, it, what we have is a 97 Flare Showcase Shaquille O'Neal Row 1 card. And so there you go and stuff. And like I said, I lived in, in San Diego for like 11 years out in Paradise Hills and beautiful sunny San Diego. I miss it. 11 years there. You know I did. I purchased my first home back there in 89 and stayed there for 11 years and I miss San Diego it's just a great little city and I uh, was just bringing that up because I think I'm 95% sure I had purchased this card from um, a card show I used to go to in, in Mission Valley area of San Diego at one of the convention centers there I mean conventions there they used to have card shows at the convention center itself but this was at one of the hotel the convention center lobbies where I picked this one up at in the raw condition. And I still remember, you know, you can still remember some cards you, you know, picked up, you know, throughout the years just from collecting. Shaq Diesel! <laughs> Diesel coming true! Diesel in the house! I always do that for, you know, for Shaq. That's my boy. You know, if I saw him, I'd give him a big hug right now and say, what's up, bruh, bruh? Uh, 1995 Fleer Shaquille O'Neal Tower of Power uh, card. These cards were really hard too. Metal card. Any of these metal cards, man, from this 95, 96, 97, 94, any of that era, were extremely hard to get. So try getting this in a in a in a in a ten. You know, it's just ridiculous. You know, like I said, the pop on it is 22. There's 22 tens out there in the world, so you could probably do that. Here's a pop 46 with 10 hire. Nice card. Uh, I think they're selling right now because they hard to, to get and a lot of people must be stashing them away because this one here, I think I saw one that had sold for $650. I'm into it for 40 only because it's so scarce out on the market, I guess. And a lot of people want it because it is one of the most beautiful cars to look at. It's, uh, probably appreciate it more in person than you can see on this camera, but it's the 1996 Skybox Z4 Shaquille O'Neal, a slam cam card, and this one's in a in a nine condition. Beautiful card right here. You can see you can't really see the the little the little reflection flare flares. You can kind of see it here, and it really looks so cool in person, right there. So there you go. All right, here we have here is a uh, 1996 Collector's Choice Van Exo Shaquille O'Neal. It's a Pop 17 4 higher. Uh, rare in this condition in a 9. Like I said, Pop 17, only four tens out there in existence. And this is, uh, I said, Eddie Jones, Shaq in the middle, and Nick Van Exo uh, to the left. And this is the gold card, 1996 Collector's Choice gold card mini the mini card cool little card right there now here's one of my favorites it's probably about a hundred and eighty dollar card in the in a nine it's a pop 66 with 11 higher i'm into it for about 40 bucks it's the soul of the game card and so i'm um uh, it's a 1998 skybox premium shaquille o'neal soul of the game beautiful card look at the coloring in that in that card right there all these solar uh game cards were really really nice looking cards and so i would say try to get you one of these get it in a seven or an eight if you can't get it in a nine you like shack collecting get you one all right here's a different one a 1996 flare showcase shaquille o'neal i got this one from that same card show in san diego um it's the um Row Zero, uh, right here, right, the Row Zero, which is a cool looking card of the diesel. 96 Flare Showcase, let me see how, how, how it shows coming through the light, not so great. So I like this little spot right here, you can really see more of how the card would look in person. So that's a beautiful card right there in the Row Zero, that's the, the lowest you can go on the a row is, is the Zero, which was the one that uh was most sought after okay here's another one pop 58 11 higher just a base card of the of this set but this set was very popular 96 tops chrome shaquille o'neal 
in a um, mint condition nine. Okay, so there you go. Let me move the nines out of the way and we'll go into the second stack of the nines. And we'll start off with one that's kind of off on, on the set. And as I threw it in there, it's a pop one with one ten out there. Probably about a $200 card. I'm into it for about 65 bucks in this condition because of what uh, Mike Thomas put on the card. Man, I hope he goes somewhere and has a good good career. But it's the um, 2016 Leaf Trinity Michael Thomas autograph gold card, 113 receptions, 1,602 yards reception, 18 touchdowns. Wow, that was a good, good year for a receiver right there. You know, he came out of the Ohio State University, but this is a great great little card to have for your collection. Now we're going to get into some uh, Chris Olave's. Here's a pop one with none higher, and it's the X's and O's card. This is a different one. This one's numbered 5 of 50. Cool looking little card right here. And like I said, it's the 22 Contenders Optics X's and O's Chris Olave in Mint Condition 9. Uh, like I said, Mint Condition 9 on these, like I said, I would double on that one. And most of the ones that are really nice and numbered, you're going to at least double on. The ones that are just base cards, I wouldn't even try sending in any of the rookies on base unless they like a really high marquee type player. Here's one that's uh, numbered... Um, 14 of 25, it's a pop one with 110 out there in the world, and it's the uh, turquoise, they call in this one, even though it, it has the purple gold and the purple green and gold Amati Kude colors, Amati Gras colors, it's got a teal part at the bottom, not teal, turquoise. So it's a 22, 2022 Origins Chris Olave turquoise in a mint condition nine, great little card. It'd be profit off of that one and, and all of these right here. Uh, here is a card that is a uh, 46 of 99, and it's the blue bottom, and it's a dark blue, uh, like a royal blue on the bottom on this one right here. It's the 2022, um, 2022, I'm trying to get the glare off of the card. That my best spot, like maybe right in here. It's a 2022 Chris Olave, the blue version, numbered to 99. Cool looking little card, the Origins card. A little profit on that one. Here is one that's probably gonna be a push due to the fact that it's a nine. Uh, I won't spend a whole lot of time on the push cards. You know, they're just basic cards. They're not. Uh, just standard because it's a red hyper card. It's a Donruss Optic Chris Olave 2022 red hyper. But, you know, if, unless you get a 10 on these, you you know, you're just going to push. The same with this one right here. It's a pop six with only six tens in the world, but at the same time, it is... Is it numbered? Uh, I thought it was, but it's not numbered. They just call it a mosaic red. It's a 2022 mosaic red Chris Olave from uh, that uh, that uh, that set right there. Nice looking little card though. Chris Olave. And here's, now here's one that is I think numbered. Yeah, this one's 60 of 80. So there were 80 of these out there. But it would end up being a, a push from what I had paid for the card because I thought it would gem and it didn't gem. So that's the chance you take. 2022 Mosaic Chris Olave. This is the Fusion Red and Yellow Choice. They were numbered to 80. And this one's something, something of 80, whatever I just told you. Uh, but it would be a push. You know, so like I said, some of these cards here. And then, like I said, it won't be a push if he has a great career. Here's another one that's a push. Pop 13, but only three higher. Uh, but unless he has a good career, if he has a good career, it's going to be worth, you know, probably double what it is easily. Uh, but it's a 2022 Dunruss Optic Chris Olave, the mythical card. Cool card. Now, these were uh, case hits. Very, 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 um, uh, uh, what, what do you call it? Rare to, to get them. And, 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 and I'm pretty sure some people told me they opened up a couple of cases and didn't get one. So they were roughly about a case hit card. 
That's what they say. Now, I'm not sure about all of that. Now, here's another one that would be a push. The variation card. Uh, 2022 Chris Olave variation in the men condition nine. I'm showing you the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know, you got to see it all because not all orders are going to be, uh, you know, a perfect order. So there you go. Uh, here's a, a 2021 Bowman's Universe Chris Olave. And so this one would be XRC since it's well, number 2021 because I think 2022 was his rookie year, right? Yeah. So here's a XRC card, but it is numbered, uh, what is that? 30 of 50 on this one. And there you go. It's a refractor card too. So it's a cool looking little refractor card of, uh, of Olave and it's the uh, gold refractor. Here's one, another push <clears throat> on this card because it's a nine, you know, but it's a beautiful card. Teal Velocity, 2022 Dunruss Chris Olave, the, the Teal Velocity card, really nice looking. Look, look how those lasers, it's a laser card, but they calling it Velocity. I, I don't know, I think it was laser or something. Look how cool that looks though, that laser shine and, and sparkle on that. I, I love that, that version of the card. Here's a rare one, pop two with none higher. It's probably about double my money. I paid, I'm into it for 25. It's probably worth about 50 in this condition. It's a 2022 obsolete by the Storm Red card. And it is numbered. I think I gave you the numbering, right? 51 of 100. So there's a hundred of these out there. Really nice looking little Shaquille O'Neal. I mean, Shaquille O'Neal. Chris Olave, very rare type card. So there you go. And here is just a, a simple card. That's a push. Uh, this was a beautiful card, though. I hope these do well. 2022 Dunruss Chris Olave, the purple shock card. Great looking card. I love the purple shocks. They look really cool. Cool. Look, see how cool that, that purple shock card looks. Uh, another push. Here is a, a 2022 Flashback Rookie Silver. Cool little card, Chris Olave. Here is a card that would be a push too, even though it's an autograph, <laughs> it would end up being a push for some reason on just one particular one. Most of the autographs, you know, you get a profit off of, but for some reason the Bowman's University uh, aren't really well sought after, but it's the uh, Chrome Perspective autograph of of um, Chris Olave, nice autograph though on the card. Autograph would definitely get a 10, I'm pretty sure. If I was, I didn't grade the autographs on this PSA order, but it's a cool, look at all the colors on those, those refractors. Cool looking refractor card of Chris Olave. All right, two more nines and then we go into the tens and both these are autographs. Here is a, um, 2022 Rookies and Stars Chris Olave's Crusade Signatures card. Cool looking autograph card of, uh, of Olave. Great looking shine off that refractor on this, this card right here. You can see the colors on the card just pop. You know, like pop, like New Year's, you know. All right, so here we go. Now we have a um, 2021, another XRC Chris Olave it's number 53 of 99. And you can see here, it's um, the tw 2000 Bowman's autograph card. Nice looking card. You can see the colors on this one too. They just pop and, and glow. Look, look, look all the different colors that are on that refractor uh, card. That's how you could tell if when a refractor is a refractor. If you don't see that right there on those refractor cards, it's not a refractor, believe me. Uh, some people I have to send them notes on eBay and say, uh, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, my friend, but I just want to let you know that, you know, that that isn't a refractor car. And they'll come back. Some of them will just say thank you. And some of them will come back really rude, you know, and just real nasty about it. Now, here's a car. Somebody just gave me this. It's a, a car that I had purchased several Alave cards and they threw this one in. It's number 46 of 99. And I said, wow, that looks good. I think I'm gonna send it in. And I did, it's a pop 15 and a 10. All of these are 10. So whatever I tell you, that is the top number. So pop 15 on this, 
I'm into it for the $15 I paid for grading and I saw one had just sold for 95 bucks. So guy sent it to me for free. So I will definitely take it. It's a 2022, you know, it kind of is a gift for buying. I think I bought about three cards off of him and he drew this one in for free. Just said, hey, you know, guy, here you go. So do, you do that. I do that all the time. I'll throw in an extra little card for people when I uh, make a sale. And I always put a little note with a smiley face in on mine too, just to let people know I appreciate, you know, them purchasing the card. So that's what this guy did. And it ended up being a $95 card. It's a 2022 Prism Garrett Wilson Emergent Blue Ice card. Really nice looking card too. And to say I got it for free, you know, a lot of people out there, they get little freebies and they end up being profitable. So, and that's one reason you always be nice to people because you might get a free card. And you go to them with an attitude, you're going to get an attitude back, you see? You know, good in and good out. You know how they say garbage in, garbage out? Or good in, good out. You know, you put a negative in, you're going to get a negative out, you know? Here's a nice looking card. I just <clears throat> threw this in. I don't even know why. 2020 Panini Prisms Joe Burrow Pink Pulsar Prism because I probably thought it was going to get a, a Gem Mint 10 and it, and it did get the, the Gem Mint 10. So it's a Really cool looking. Those pulsars like this are really nice. Gem in 10 on that card right there. Can't go wrong, you know. Now here's one. Pop 16 on this card right here. I doubled my money off of it just from what I paid for it in the grading fees. The basic one, not the refractor. I have the refractor in nines. I do not have a 10, and a 10 is extremely hard to get in a refractor on this. 95 Shaquille O'Neal uh, Gem Mint 10, uh, finest card. Try getting it in a, um, you can see it in, in the light a little bit better right here. Nice looking card of the diesel. Try getting it in a, in a, in a 10 condition. I mean, uh, in, a, in a refractor in a 10, I'm sorry. Bear with me. All right, where am I pulling from? Let me move these. I'm getting myself confused. Here's a card. I told them it was a gold because there's the silver one like this, and they still didn't label it gold even after I told them it was gold. It's a pop two. In this condition, it's probably about a $250 card. I'm into it for 35 bones. It's a 1996 UD Hollow GFX, GRFX or something. I don't know. NBA 24-7 Awesome. But this is the gold. If you look, you can you will see that there is a silver one like this. This one is all gold around the background and everything is, is in gold. There's some some that are silver. And I told them twice that it was gold and they still didn't put gold along on the card. So thank you, PSA. So there you go. But it's a beautiful little a little card of the uh the diesel. Let's see if I can get it right there. Uh, I'll just keep it right here. You can see it's a great card. And so these are in gold and I know in silver. And for some reason, they failed to put gold on the card. I didn't bother with them. This is a pop four card right here. Very hard to get. It's a 1995 classic BK Rookies. How many of you guys actually seen this card? Think about it. Clear cuts card. And it's this die cut, you know, with a basketball, you know, right in there. Really cool looking little uh, card right here. So like I said, there's only four of these in a 10 out there in, in the world. I got one of them right here. So I'm fortunate enough to have at least one of the, the four 10s that are out there. Now here is a 1997 Finest Emboss card. Just a standard old card, but the embossed, I think it was a regular version and the embossed one that was a lot more rarer than the, the standard cards, you know. I don't even know what it's worth, but it's a pop 11 on that one. Here's one that's a pop 54, basic standard card, but being uh, in the condition it's in, in a 10, it's it's very rare. Probably worth about $100 in, the, in a 10 condition. It's the... Um, 97 finest Shaquille O'Neal, Masters. Cool little card of the diesel. Like I said all of these, the rest of these are tens. Here's the one I want to show you. This is a pop four on this one. 
I, so I, I was wrong. I said it was a, there was, no, this was, I'm, I take it back. This is a pop one, as far as I know it is. It's a pop one. I'll have to check it, but I'm almost sure it was a pop one because I had the nine and I had told you about the nine and I had the, uh, there was one higher that was a pop, um, pop one higher. But I might be wrong, but I think it's about a $400 card. I'm into it for 30 bucks. It's either pop one or pop four. Either way, it's worth some some money. So I may have made a mistake and, and labeled it pop one when it's pop four, but I think it is pop one. But yeah, I could always look it up. I just don't have time to do it right now on, on air while I'm uh, recording. And anyway, it's a 94 finest Shaquille O'Neal lottery pri prize. Either way, it's a really nice card and super, super rare and to get it in a 10. Try getting this card almost... I'm going to say 98% of all of them were so off-centered, it was totally ridiculous. Look up these lottery prizes. Try getting one in a 10, and you'll see. If you get one in a 10, you got to hold on to it. So I'm going to hold on to that one, put that one in my PC. Here's a cool card, horizontal card. Uh, Pop 16 on this one right here. Very nice card, the Slam Cam. It's the uh, 97 Skybox Z4 Shaquille O'Neal slam cam and it's one of those clear kind of acetate type of cars too very nice looking little card the slam cams are very 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 rare here and especially in this condition right here cool little card and so here's a here's a refractor coming up here this one is a pop 11. I want to say this one's a pop 11. Only 11 in the world. I'm into it for about 35. It's probably worth about 400 bucks. Uh, possibly. I think on my guesstimations, though, I put down, well, some of the ones I saw sold for 400. This one might only get 300. I always went below what I thought the card was worth on my prediction. So I'm pretty on point with the $13,000 sale on this uh, order but anyway this is a 2001 uh tops chrome team tops refractor card cool looking little card not too much into the, you know into this one right here it's just a kind of basic refractor if you ask me but very rare in a pop 11 in, in the whole world you know that's less than you could put in in in, in each state of the U.S. Here is a 2003 Topps Chrome Shaquille O'Neal. This is the white refractor. Now they didn't even put down white on it. They just put refractor, but I'm almost sure it's the white version of the card, the white refractor. Beautiful gem mint card refractor of, of Shaq right there. Great looking uh, card. And that's what uh, I want to say that's Yao Ming. Yeah, that is Yao. Y'all there getting posterized by the diesel on his card right there. I like Y'all Ming though. He just kept his little composure, never messed with nobody and got in a confrontation. So I didn't have a problem with Y'all. Here's a 94 Emotion Intense. Everybody's seen these right here. It's a pop 156. So a lot of people flooded the market with these intense cards because they grade really well. So if you get one of these, try centering it in. They grade really well, these uh, particular cards right here. All right, moving on, we have a Pop 37. I think I bought this one. I'm into it with grading and everything for 25. It's probably worth about 170 bucks in this condition. It's a, I think it's a rookie card, 1997. If not, it's just a nice row one card of, of Timmy. I, beautiful card here of Tim Duncan, the big fundamental. Again, I never did care for that. I wish they would have gave him a better name than that. I'm sure they could have came up with something better than the big fundamental shit. Excuse my French. Uh, 1997 Flair Showcase Tim Duncan Row 1. Great looking little card, though, man. I ain't gonna lie. It's a nice looking card. And that's in a 10. That's one of the only I have. Now, here's a good card. It's a pop 10. I think it'll do really well. Probably about a four or $500 card. I'm into it for 100 bucks. <laughs> And uh, you tell me, it, it, it should. T uh, two, uh, 2020 Panini score Justin Jefferson a signature. He signed it uh, in a gem mint 10. So, you know, Justin Jefferson, you know, he's having a great career. You know, so like I said, to have a, a nice autograph one of, of Justin Jefferson in a gem mint 10 should be a nice little card. You know, I like uh, JJ. Here's a few Jordans I have. <clears throat> 
Here is an in a 10. I love this car to everybody seeing this. These, they flooded the market with these. 92 Upper Deck uh, Michael Jordan, number 23. Gem Mint 10. Here's another one, similar to it, but a different little dunk pose. 93 Michael Jordan, Upper Deck, number 23. Cool card right there. Here's one. That's uh, 1993 Michael Jordan NBA Superstars uh, card right here, Gem in 10. Like I said, all these will, will be okay. Nothing, you know, really super valuable, just really nice cars to have in a 10. I was lucky to get them in a 10. Some people say it's almost impossible to get some of these in a 10. Well, they gave me a few. I guess I got a good grader on that day. He must have liked Jordan's. 93 Skybox Premium Drexler and Jordan Showcase Series in a 10. Because I heard people send in, well, I sent in eight of those and I didn't get one 10. You know, I sent in one and got a 10. So who knows what they be doing over there. Here's one that's kind of, in my opinion, rare because they you rarely see them because of that gold of, on it. Chips a lot and it's a border. It's like a metal border around the whole card. Uh, so what we have here is a 95 uh, Jordan collection uh, in a Gem Mint 10. It's the 92 NBA MVP card. Cool looking little card though. You can see that right there. Nice looking Jordan card. And, 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 and I've seen a lot of people send these in. They don't get 10s. And I sent one in and got a 10. Like I said, the guy must have really said, oh, the card was nice looking. Don't get me wrong. But he, he must have been a, a Jordan kind of guy that day because he gave me, you know, some nice 10s on the, the few Jordans that I sent in, in in this one particular order. And we'll come into the last of the order. So we're going to start off with a card that's stuck. <clears throat> Here we go. It's a, a pop one only, about a $75 card. I'm into it for like 20, 25, and they put it in some kind of plastic inside of the plastic. I, I don't like when they do that at PSA, but I guess they had a reason for doing it that it's a, a refractor called 2022 Spectrum Crystal Ivy uh, Rookie Aura uh, card, gem mint condition. And you can see it's a really nice looking card of uh, Olave. He's going to do good this year. I think he's going to have another thousand yard uh, season. And that's that's my prediction. And let's hope it it um, comes into fruition. And here I have two of these. So I'll just show one. It's a pop 49 on this. Probably a hundred dollars, 80 to a hundred dollars in this uh, condition. I'm into it for 20. I paid five dollars each for them. Uh, so we got a 2022 Dunruss Optic. Chris Olave, the purple shock, and two, I got two tens. And this one and that one. Two nice tens in the in the purple shock. So there you go. A couple of nice ones there. And this one I only have one like this. And it's a pop 13, only 13 in the world. Very rare card in this in this condition. A very beautiful card. Look at the glow on it. It's a 2022 Dunruss Optic Chris Olave Silver Circles. Uh, disco circles, whatever you want to call it. No huddle, whatever. But it's just a really nice looking uh, card of, uh, of Olave. And I just love the way the, the, the disco circles, the silver circles, balls or whatever. How that, that just finish in the background. They just really shine and, and then just pop. Great looking little card to have uh, in your collection right there. If you can get one, get one. Try do do some do some Chris Olave. Now they're gonna do good. Here's a pop one on a Chris Olave. It's a gold card. It's actually numbered 70 of 99. A 99 out here. This one right here. It's a 2022 Panini Classics Chris Olave Classics Beginnings Gold in a mint condition nine. Great looking card of uh, of Olave right there. I'm kind of you know keeping a light on it so you can see it. Beautiful finish refractor finish on the card gold card numbered here's one that's uh numbered uh 52 of 99 leaf card maybe not too valuable it's a pop one only one like this i just sent it in i think because i had it uh 2021 leaf and you see he's wearing number 17 right here probably was his freshman year or something like that i don't think they 
or uh, in, the, in maybe his, it could have been his uh, sophomore year. I don't know. Uh, anyway, 2021 Leaf Memories, Chris Olave, the 1960s, because they kind of made it with the back black, uh, the black and white. And this one does say XRC on it. So it is 2021 XRC card. Cool card right there. Pop one only. Uh, here's another one that's a pop one, probably a $200 card. I'm into it for about 62 bucks. It's got the purple signature, purple variation. 2022 Luminous Chris Olave, whatever Y-O is, signatures, variation, purple. Oh, year one. Year one, that's what the Y-O is. Uh, dumb me. But anyway, it's a nice looking card and it's got the purple purple stuff going around the card and it's in a purple signature so it's a color match card as, as well he signed it with purple purple ink cool card yeah prince fan would like that if they're into ohio state and they like prince there you go pop four on this card right here great looking little card uh here we go signature 2022 select draft picks chris Olave. Really nice looking little card. Not the refractor, just the, the base autograph, but just a great looking little card. And it's only a pop four on this card right here. So there'll be, you know, some future value in this card right here. I'm putting it there so you can see in the middle of the circle, you know, there's light, it's all around the perimeter. And so it's a nice looking little card right here for your collection if you're in the Olave. I went into Olave, I think he's gonna do, do well. Here's a pop 18, 31 of 99. And uh, it's a 2022 Dunruss Optic Rookie Gridiron Kings Auto, Gem Mint 10 condition. Beautiful card of Olave in the uh, 10 condition right there. Okay. Here is a 2021 XRC Bowman University Lava card. And this was in a different order from one of those other ones. This one is a Pop 7, about a $200 card right here. I'm into it for 55 bucks with grading and all. So nice looking card and it's numbered 173 of 199. I love that lava finish on that card. See how it does, that flows, that lava flow. Yep, and we are down to the last four cards. 2022 Dunruss. 17 of 49 this is a card that got gem mint in the card and a nine on the auto it's a clearly dunros autograph red psa dna certified card great looking little card right here of alave acetate type card you can see through these right here these clearly dunros of, of, of see-through cards here is a uh, Pop 2 card right here. Really nice card in this condition, a refractor card. They really call it Prism. 2022 Select Draft Picks uh, Rookie Signatures Red Prism, but it's got that beautiful refractor finish on it. It's really a nice looking card, superbly made, just the shine and the glow on it. Just a nice looking card right there. Here is another clearly Dunruss. This is a pop nine on this one, only nine in existence. This one is 131 of 175 on this one particular card. It's uh, autographed purple in the gem mint 10 condition, clearly Dunruss. Great signature on the card. Nice looking card right here to have in your collection. And down to the last card. And I wanna thank everybody for watching. If you're home with me, this is pop 10. Great looking card right here. 2022 Dunruss Optic Chris Olave. Uh, the rookie's autograph card. Really great looking little card. Look at that, that refractor glow on that card right there on that finish there. It's just a great looking, beautiful card. And I would say if you haven't, try investing into some Chris Olave. He's a great little receiver. I don't mean about saying little by little. I think he's 6'1 or 6 feet or what look like. Super hands, good speed. And I think he's going to uh, do well within the hobby. I'm putting my little messed up card here on the end right here, my VG3, which is the worst of the order. But don't let this kind of stuff, you know, get you down. You know, you're going to have some orders that you're going to do. You're going to have a card that comes in. You're going to get a VG vg4 or very whatever you might get a five or a six and say hmm 
I don't know what was wrong it was there. Somebody wasn't having a good day. So that just goes to show you how that happens. But I want to thank everybody for watching. You guys have a wonderful and blessed day. Keep the hobby going. Keep out there and, and be safe. Shake Diesel! <laughs> Diesel in the house! The big Diesel! Don't play. Shaq was one of the best that ever played that position of the center in the whole NBA. You did not want to be down in the paint uh, trying to, to guard the, uh, the big diesel down in the paint because he'd knock you out of there like a diesel freight train. But anyway, you guys have a great day. I'm just having some fun. Uh, stay safe and be blessed. God bless you guys. Bye.